I cannot believe we're here. We are at the Highland Towers, guys, in Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur. This place has a very dark history. I'll tell you about it inside. So everyone, what's up? I'm with the whole exploring crew today. We're in Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur and we are doing the Highland Towers. This is a very highly requested video and we actually looked it up and we're like, holy crap, this is actually really interesting and crazy and sad. Um, there was actually three towers here, but now there's two. On December 11, 1993 at 1.35 p.m. on a Saturday, one of the towers collapsed, killing 48 people. This is, this, this, these towers are where people live. This is like a condo. So one of them collapsed while everybody was inside and it killed 48 people. The reason why the towers collapsed is because we're actually like on a hill. There's a, there's a mountain on the side of us. On the right side of us, it's like Beverly Hills. This place is actually, the, the neighborhood that we're in is like very rich, fancy for the high-end class people. So when this happened, this was, no one could believe it. I mean, the people that were living on this place was looking and, and seeing their tower, with maybe their family were living on it, just collapse, just, just downed. It was actually really crazy. But the reason why it happened is because it was cause of landslides from continuous rainfalls all over and over and over and over and over and over again. Now these buildings consist of 12 floors and it was built between 1974 and 1982. Yeah, I'm sweating like crazy. Let's go explore this place. See how this place look on the outside? It's like the freaking ghost tower in Thailand. This place is, it's, it's like a horror movie. It's actually pretty dark too. Hopefully there's no squatters here. I heard a lot of rumors, like people like are living here. A lot of drug users are here. Huh. Yeah, to think that this was actually someone's home. They had to up and leave because the accident happened. Check out their kitchen. was their little backyard, I guess. Until they clean this place up or demolish it, this is just gonna sit here and nature's just gonna take the whole thing over. Look, okay, whoever drew this was a very good artist. Yeah. So I wonder if it's like memorial. Sweet heart. It could be. Just the things that they're writing on it. Yeah. I don't know. This is one of the entrances. I'm gonna step out though. I wanna show you this. I'll uh, turn around. Look up. Look at this. The doors are still attached to these. I spoke to you soon. <laughs> That's cool. Ah, oh, dude, look at that. This stuff, if you look closely on the bottom, you can see we've got people's cans here. Could have been their food. If you move over here, looks like it could be like their, their curtains. And then you got their shoe. Look at this. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, they almost attacked us. The exploring crew's coming in hot. Yeah, <laughs> we rolled up together to move our way to the top. Every floor we go up, everything looks the same. It's the same structure, same everything. So we're all grouped up together because we're going straight up to the top now.
I just stopped quick on the 10th floor to check it out. And you can see how this is less demolished than the other floors. Normally when we go to abandoned places, the more higher up you go, the less destroyed it is. Just be, just, just because people don't usually go all the way up to the demolished stuff, you know? So, um, yeah, check it out. Seems like everything's still here. This was one bedroom. We go through on this side. Another bedroom. So we're looking at a two bedroom apartment right now. Can it be more? Open up. Looks like could be another bedroom. It could be a three bedroom apartment. You come over here. See, look at you can see how this was all fancied up. The kitchen. See when you when you come to these places up top, now we're getting a more idea of how this place was really structured. And then the bathroom. And then you go next door and it would be typically the same thing. But look at the, look at the ceiling on this one though. Then you got the stage or whatever the hell this is actually. All right, last floor on the roof. Ugh. Seems like people is throwing furniture down. Hey. I just don't want to get too dark. What's up, man? We're at the top. We made it. Jeez. Welcome to my garden. Yeah, this is cr this is crazy. Oh, the view, though. My God. Unbelievable. Judging by the second tower, we're looking in it and it looks the same exact as this tower. There's nothing in it, so we're not gonna bother going in it because there's really no point. This video would just get boring. One thing you gotta worry about is um, nails sticking out. So always watch where you step, especially, you know, tetanus and everything. You don't wanna get screwed up here. So people say that when they built this building, they connected the same pipes to this building. And what happened was the water burst in from the pipes down here. And that's another reason why the tower collapsed here. This is it. This is it. We did it all. Finale. The finale, finale. the grand finale, we're grand done. Finale. We did the drones, we climbed the whole thing, we explored it all. We're out of here, guys. Our first abandoned video in Malaysia might be the only one because we don't really know any other spots here. <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter too much to me to be honest the whole abandoned places wasn't really something I wanted to do here It was all in Japan and other st spots So this is just a place I wanted to go and just chill at so and we're at the whole crew So it's cool to be here. Hope you guys did enjoy this video um, Stay tuned until next time subscribe to me subscribe to Whoa, us Steve. <laughs> John. Cody. And Cody <laughs> And the code. Yeah, make sure you subscribe to me though for real